histology of testes that is internal structure of testes each testes is covered by three layers or the tunics that is tunica vaginalis tunica albuginea and tunica vasculosa tunica vaginalis is the outer covering of the testes tunica albuginea is a fibrous connective tissue which is situated under the tunica vaginalis tunica vasculosa consists of network of capillaries which are supported by delicate connective tissue tunica albuginea enters into the testes and forms compartments called testicular lobules each testes has nearly 200 to 250 lobules inside the testicular lobules seminiferous tubules are present each lobule has nearly 2 to 3 seminiferous tubules these are structural and functional units of testes length of one seminiferous tubule is 70 cm these are highly convoluted that is highly folded tubules which open into straight tubules called tubuli recti tubuli recti open into reti testes fine ciliated tubules called vasa efferentia arise from reti testes and carry sperms to epididymis epididymis is nearly 8 to 12 meters long highly convoluted tubule attached to testes epididymis along with the testes is termed testicle if we cut a transverse section of testes we find seminiferous tubules along with leydig cells leydig cells or the interstitial cells are the endocrine cells hormone secreting cells these are located outside the seminiferous tubules these secrete male sex hormones that is androgens when we say androgen that is a category of male sex steroids it includes testosterone dihydrotestosterone androstenedione cholesterol is the precursor for steroid hormones leydig cells have receptors for lh that is luteinizing hormone or icsh interstitial cell stimulating hormone secreted by anterior pituitary inside the seminiferous tubule we find two types of cells that is sertoli cells and spermatogonia sertoli cells or the sustentacular cells are the supporting cells in sexually mature testes their number is fixed these do not divide sertoli cells also called nurse cells these provide structural support protection and nutrition to the developing spermatozoa throughout their development the spermatozoa remain embedded in the plasma membrane of sertoli cell and finally when these are released from membrane of sertoli cell into lumen of seminiferous tubule the process is called spermiation It is surprising to know that in one second, one thousand sperms are released per gram of testicular tissue. Weight of one testes is nearly fourteen grams. There is fourteen thousand sperms in one second. In one testes, Sertoli cells have receptors for FSH, that is follicle-stimulating hormone secreted by anterior pituitary. In response to FSH, Sertoli cells secrete ABP, that is androgen binding protein, inhibin. Inhibin 
is a proteinaceous hormone which has negative feedback effect with aphacet. Androgen binding protein binds with androgens and maintains a high concentration inside the seminiferous tubule. This high concentration of androgens is required for healthy sperm production. Plasma membrane of the adjacent sertoli cell is highly folded and comes very close to form blood testes barrier. Blood never comes in direct contact with the developing spermatozoa. Our body has two types of cells, somatic cells and germinal cells. Blood is acquainted only with the somatic cells. If blood comes in contact with germ cells, it can destroy all the germ cells because these are foreign bodies to blood. So Sertoli cells ensure that whatever substance has to be transported from blood to developing germ cell, it should be transported through the Sertoli cells. So Sertoli cells provide oxygen, nutrition, hormones to the developing sperms and they also return the metabolic wastes of the developing sperm back to the blood. So that was about histology of the testes that is internal structure of the testes. Next we'll discuss about the process of sperm formation that is spermatogenesis.